What is going on guys, Austin FFA here, or Luna. So today I have a topic to talk about where um, I just want to, it's not a topic, it's a story, but um, I want, before we get into the story, I want to say something. So if you see my YouTube name right now, it probably says Luna, and this is just a test. I'm seeing if Luna works, because if this works out well for the next like day or two, um, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to go over to Luna. Um, doesn't change anything. I'm still Austin FFA. But um, if you search Austin FFA in the search bar on YouTube, you're still going to see my channel pop up. It might just say Luna, though. So I'm just letting you all, all you subscribers know, like, if you want to find me, you can still go to YouTube.com slash Austin FFA, and you can still type in Austin FFA, and I will come up. So I'm just letting you know that. So, no, that's out of the way. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. I'm just testing this out for a day. I think probably tomorrow I'll have it back to Austin FFA, or maybe even after this video is out. Maybe it won't even be Luna while you're watching this video. Maybe I didn't want to keep it. But um, most likely it'll be changed by the next day. I'm just testing some stuff out. So anyway, I have a story to talk about today. And um, it's a really funny and crazy one. So it's called Smoking Weed at a Hotel. Now, um, I don't think I've ever done this story on my channel before. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, it's crazy. I think it's just so crazy. Because there were so many risks we had to take when we did this. And it was just really crazy. So two, two years ago, when I was like just getting into smoking, guys, I remember... Um, specifically when my friends, they would go to hotels a lot for some reason. Like I remember when my friend uh, on his birthday party on his sweet 16, as you would call it, um, you know, that's actually really like people will call him gay for that. But for a big banger on his 16th birthday party, he wanted to rent a hotel or not rent a hotel, but get a room at a hotel with a bunch of his buddies and a few girls. And we were just going to kick it in a hotel room. So, um, he did one year and, uh, you know, we were, it was pretty like it was pretty fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I think this was the coolest experience I've probably ever went through. So he rented out this room. It was at a Holiday Inn Express. So it wasn't even like a super nice hotel, but it had its qualities. And um, he rented out this room, and he invited me. He invited like four other friends. He invited three girls and like I think one other guy. And uh, it was really just kind of more dudes than girls, which is funny. But uh. So one of the girl's parents was actually giving us a hard time. I remember she kept saying, you know, oh, you're not going there with them. You know, they're boys. They'll, you know, you guys are just going to have sex and smoke, like, do weed. And <laughs> but, you know, he eventually convinced her, um, her mom to let her come. So we rented out this Holiday Inn room. I think I ended up chipping in, like, 40 bucks for it. Everyone, everyone chipped in a fuckload of money for it. And, um, you know, the, hol the Holiday Inn lady was, like, really skeptical. She was like, are you guys 18? And I was like, no. And then the one kid's like, well, I'm 18. Like, he had, he had his brother with him. So the his brother technically rented the room under his name and then peaced out. So we rented out this Holiday Inn, or this room in Holiday Inn. And um, it was on the top floor. So it was really cool. We had, like, a – we rented the most expensive room there was. Um, and then you're, we kind of broke the rule. We're not – you're not really allowed to have, like – I think you're not allowed to have over six people in this suite. So we were, like, really breaking the rules. So we had, like, I think four people over the limit or something like that. But it was a really fun birthday party, actually. His brother brought a cake. We were eating cake, just chilling in this Holiday Inn room, watching TV, you know, jumping up on the beds like little fucking kids, just enjoying ourselves. And then um, eventually my one friend had his backpack with him, and he zipped, unzipped it, and just this weed aroma filled the room. You could just smell weed everywhere. And he was just like, so anyone want to smoke? And I, this was like, I think this was actually one of my, like the second week I actually started being like a pothead where I would smoke all the time. And I was like, uh, yeah. And he's like, let's do it. So what we did was, this is crazy. We took towels from the bathroom of the Holiday Inn, put them all over the, um, the fire, like the, uh, fire alarms. And um, we had to put them over the fire alarms. We covered the vents and we started smoking. And it was like a, we rolled a J. And oh my God, I forgot to say this. Never, I mean ever, if you're going to fucking like smoke somewhere like that, you do not roll a joint. Joints and blunts produce the most smoke out of anything to smoke out of there is. Besides like a, not even a bong. A bong is actually better because you can cover up like the, the ports and like the smoke won't pour out. But so we light up this fat ass like one gram J. And the whole room is just baked. Like, every out... Like, we had the window cracked, but every outlet, like, where smoke would go, was gone. Like, we, we had a towel under the door, and the whole room reeked. And the whole hallway reeked, so we got really paranoid. But, um, after we got done smoking the 1 gram J, we were all ripped. I mean, like, straight up just, uh... 
So what we did was, you guys can guess, you know, what do you, we're all really baked, you know, we're at a hotel, what do you do? What do you do? You go to the hot tub, that's what you do. You order room service, we got room service, we got lasagna, I got lasagna, my one friend got, we got like a bunch of Italian food, his his parents hooked us up, his parents ended up like writing him a check, or not a check, it was a, uh, he gave, she gave the hotel money on a card, so like we had money to use, so like, we literally could just call and order our, uh, we had like a tab basically, like at a bar, you have a tab, you just order whatever, and then you pay at the end of the night. So we were just ordering mad food. I, I think the bill ended up being like $250 the next night. So we ended up finally getting done eating, and we went to the hot tub. And we, we went to this hot tub. The hot tub was so nice. It was the nicest thing I've ever stayed in in my life. And not stayed in, but like sat down in and just soaked. It was so relaxing. And um, we just had a great time. It was really shitty because like, we almost got in trouble a few times because they looked at us like this. Okay, there's like over seven, like seven kids. We don't know what they could, they could they could all be staying in that room. But I think honestly, the manager was just really chill about it, and he stopped giving a fuck. So, yeah. But um, that was basically it. We didn't get caught or anything. The room in the hallway smelled a little bit like weed. Actually, it smelled a lot a bit like weed. We had to have we when we left the room to go swimming, we had the whole window open, and when we came back, the smell was cleared. But if you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you drop that like, hit the like button. Let's, uh, this is a weed story. I think we can get a really pretty good, pretty good goal of likes. Uh, let's go for like 450, 500. I think we could do that. I mean, that's a really, I usually set it really low, but I'm going to set it high. I think this, this, this story is crazy. Let's go, go for 500 likes. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, add it to your favorites if you still use your favorites playlist because that would be really appreciative. Tweet the video out, share it with your friends. If you guys love my life stories, make sure you go check out my other ones. I have so many stories. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, like I said, the name on my channel is probably Luna right now. But tomorrow it'll be back to Austin FFA, I think. I'm just testing this out. I just want to see if the video still does good. So, anyway, this has been Austin FFA or Luna. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all. Peace.